uh, welcome to sunny Berlin, where I have a band called Fairy from Bergen, Norway with me. Uh, for starters, guys, could you tell me who and what is band called Fairy? Um, yeah, um, me and Hanna, uh, our drummer, we started a band for, uh, it, w- it was four girls, so uh, I've been uh, thinking a lot about why uh, girls can play in a band, like metal bands, so I really wanted to start a band uh, for the only girls, so then we had this uh, his name fairy because it, uh, the songs I'm writing it's like uh, the lyrics is about um, what do you how do you say it? Supernatural. Um, uh, <laughs> or naturally. Uh, uh, supernatural. Supernatural yeah, yeah. Uh, themes. Uh, themes, yes, yeah. and um, yeah, it's I'm fascinated of those things so. Mm. That's why we choose the name. But um, later we he got in and uh, in the band, and uh, yeah. So I don't know, Hanna. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, pretty much how it started. Yeah. We ended up having a nice theme, you know, with the black fairies and the mystic North and uh, the Norse uh, mythology and uh, started to make uh, lyrics and songs fitting that theme. And uh, it's been people coming and going in the band. Uh, had quite a few, not only girls in the end. And now we're ending up with uh, Gerard here playing the bass for us. And, and then we have also a new guy called Nick who's going to play the guitar tonight. So it's been a small journey for us already. Small fairy tale. <laughs> Okay, you released your latest album, uh, Winterwerf, or in English, uh, Winter Solstice, if I'm correct, in uh, 2015. Uh, are you planning on a new album, and what kind of musical direction are you taking next? Yeah. This is uh, okay. his question. Yeah, um, <laughs> like uh, this, f- I think fer- I very started about three years before I joined the band. And the first album is, it's very rock, it's very like 90s rock, like... Skunk and Nancy, Alice in Chains, that kind of thing. And uh, with Winterwerf, it became a lot more, it became a lot heavier. It's a lot more progressive. And we started, you know, not just, or after I joined the band, the music writing, the writing became a lot more uh, like trying new things and not doing like just safe uh, rock and roll. So, um, and I think uh, we really enjoyed that. We really liked taking it a little bit outside the, our own comfort zones. So the next album is going to be like another step above that. I think it's going to be um it's uh we've been working on a story um concept. a concept yeah it's um I don't want to say too much about it but uh it's going to be I think the next album is going to be telling a very interesting story and I'm if it comes out half as good as I hope it will it should be it should be very good. Uh, okay, you talked about uh, supernatural themes and maybe some fantasy themes. Uh, from where do you draw inspiration for your music and those themes? I think uh, actually the nature uh, in Norway and Bergen, it's my main uh, inspiration. It's very all the woods and uh, I'm, I'm very fascinated of, of the nature and uh, sun and the moon and the stars and all this uh, <laughs> cliche <laughs> 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 but uh, yes the nature and <coughs> yeah I think that's my main uh, inspiration mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she agree <laughs> okay you uh, just mentioned uh, your hometown uh, Bergen so how big role does it play in your music and has it influenced the band some way and uh, uh, it's known to be a metal city, if I'm correct, so could you tell us a l- bit more about your hometown? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to...? Me? Yeah, no, yes. Uh, what is about Bergen is it, uh, it's uh, lots of musicians. And the, n- the nice thing is that we actually get the opportunity as a unknown band to, to play a lot and have a stage to go to. And I think... Uh, uh, 
in general, not only in black metal music and metal, uh, it's it's a really you cannot uh, you cannot be influenced like you have to be influenced by the city and its uh, musicians because it's uh, everybody known so known know somebody who's a musician and uh, for me myself I will say I was really influenced by the city and the music if it wasn't for Bergen I would not play that all so and also Gerard probably can tell something yeah uh, I um I'm not from Bergen at all <laughs> I'm not even from Norway um but uh, I've been living there I guess I've been living there long enough to say it's home um I, I love it there so much it's but it's a difficult question to answer like um you know it's uh I'm not there for the weather <laughs> I'm not there for uh the sunny beaches or the you know good food it's but I <laughs> It's I sort of just fell in love with the place. There's something very difficult to describe that, and I think uh, the people who make music there know it, and would have just as much trouble describing it. But there's something about that city that just brings out. Uh, it's, yeah. It draws some it's very, exactly. It's very dark, but in a good way. Yeah, like but uh, it's it also surprised me when I moved there, like how big the uh, the music scene is there for such a comparatively small city. And that there's, um, they look after musicians there. It's good. I had a lot of fun playing with Ferry. Mm. It's uh, like originally I was just gonna play a few gigs with you guys and then say goodbye, but <laughs> it's been seven years now, so uh, I think it's uh, no, it's been it's been fantastic. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, you are playing tonight here in uh, Blackland, Berlin. How important are live performances for you? Um, it's important because. We are a live band. That's what we are good at. It's uh, to make a record is not that easy for us actually, but we do it anyway. But uh, mm -hmm. we are definitely a, a live band. So yeah. and play in Germany, like yeah, that fits us very well. I think it's uh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. So it's gonna be great. Mm. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and uh, what are your future ba uh, plans as a band? Where do you see yourselves in, let's say, a couple of years? Okay. You have a <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we're um, we we've got a new. Uh, we've just started laying the groundwork for a new album, and uh, we've got sort of two songs sort of sketched out that we're really happy with, and um, so we'll probably put all that together over the next next year. And have that finished by the end of 2018, maybe. 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 <laughs> we said, <laughs> well, our, our last album, we said that, and everything happened. <laughs> yeah, there was oh, a lot I of like set. My voice. Yeah, Teresa needed surgery on her throat, and that set things back. And then other things happened, and uh, so uh, I'm very cautious about talking about the future. I think, um, you know, we have other things going on in our lives that uh, make it harder to do as much music as we want. I think. Uh, but uh, no, so I guess the next year is going to be working on the new ma new album and kind of fleshing that out and getting that to happen. And then after that, we um, yeah, just uh, it's sort of only recently we've started playing outside of Norway, and it's been fantastic. It's been uh, the res the response we've been getting, and uh, um, we l have really enjoyed it. So we're probably going to play some more around Central and Eastern Europe. Um, uh, Maybe we'll be. Uh, we have tentative plans to come back to Central Europe in the middle of next year, but we'll see how that goes. So, uh, yeah, uh, find us on Facebook and <laughs> follow us and see if we're coming anytime soon. Okay, all the best for you guys, and uh, thank you very much and break a leg tonight. Yes, thank you.